I think we can safely say that it is now officially Christmas season. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome to the month of December. It's crazy to think that December is already here, which means that 2016 is almost over, which is another crazy thought that I'm really not ready to deal with as of yet. But for the meantime, we will just go ahead and get into my favorites for the month of November. And by the way, please excuse me if my voice starts to crack or if you hear some sort of nasalness in my voice. I'm in the midst of trying to get over this cold that I've had for the last couple of days. So again, I apologize. I'm probably going to crackle at some point, so look forward to that. So my first favorite for the month of November is this Soibu 3-in-1 convertible bag. I got it as a gift from one of my aunts, and I absolutely, absolutely love this bag. What's really awesome is, like I said, it's a 3-in-1. So how's a 3-in-1? Okay, so... It can be carried like this as your traditional tote. It also has a long strap so that you can buckle it around here on the ends so you can wear it like a messenger bag. And coolest of all, I swear I've never seen this in a yoga backpack style like this, it comes with straps on the back so you can wear it like a backpack. Mm -hmm. Also, I mean, can we just like appreciate how much room there is in here? It also has two side pockets for water bottles, which has been very handy. So I have used this a bunch of different times and for completely different reasons. I have used this bag for hot yoga class, so I've been able to fit water bottle, towels, extra clothes, my yoga mat, because there is a little handy thing here for your yoga mat. And with so much room to spare, I've also used this when I've gone out somewhere and needed to bring my laptop with me because there is a laptop sleeve in here, which very easily fits my small MacBook in there. And I can still fit a bunch of other stuff. I can fit other books in there. I can fit my planner and all sorts of stuff, My all my wallet stuff in here. That's when I used it as a backpack because, frankly, it was a lot easier. And I just can't get over how much room there is in here. It's amazing. And it also comes with one of these little bags which you can use for wet clothes, like if you're just leaving hot yoga. If you want to put your wet and sweaty clothes in this bag so you can keep it from the rest of your stuff, that's always handy. Or even if you feel like you want to keep stuff you really need to keep dry in here if the majority of your stuff is wet. That's another good reason that you have this. And like I said, it has some more pockets inside and it has a little key ring that you can put your car key on that you can take off, which is always handy because in big bags like this, I tend to lose my car keys. They always end up in the very bottom of the bag, which as anybody who uses a really big bag knows, is really annoying because you feel like you have to throw all of your stuff out of your bag in order for you to actually find your keys or whatever it is you're looking for. But Specifically with this hook, you can hook onto your keys, which is really nice and handy. So, I really love this bag. I will put the link for it in the bottom in my description box, so that if you want to check out this bag, you can go ahead and do that to yourself. But, yeah, I think this is really handy. Love all the variations of straps, and it really gives you a lot of options for how you want to carry your stuff. Now, because I have been sick, I have really been loving my teas more than usual. In particular, I have been loving my Organic Cream of Earl Grey Tea from David's Tea, and I've been really loving it and these handy little satchels, which honestly make having tea so much easier, so much less mess, because these little satchels are just absolutely perfect. You just take out your tea, and you can put it into your cup and into the, with the hot water, and you're good to go. Um, you don't have to worry about fussing with a loose leaf. Um, but I know some people love their loose leaf and swear by it, but for me, these satchels are really awesome. But I really like this because I've always been a fan of Earl Grey. It's always been my favorite tea. But the organic cream of Earl Grey also has a twist of vanilla in it, which is amazing because vanilla is another one of my favorite teas. So this kind of combines two of my favorite teas to make it oh so yummy. And it's just perfect for any time you just really want a nice cup of tea. So again, I will put the link for this particular tea into my description box. So if you want to check out the tea yourself, you can do so. 
Oh, and if you happen to be stopping by David's Tea, you can get three of these boxes of whatever combination of flavors you like, I think it is, for $25, which is a really awesome deal. So go to your local David's Tea and check it out. My next favorite for the month of November is my Butter Beer Collector Mug that I got when I was at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter last month. I absolutely love this mug. It's plastic. It's dishwasher safe. I actually just took it out of the dishwasher and it's been an awesome, awesome mug. Um, actually, it says hand wash only. I should probably do that from now on. But it's been holding out in the dishwasher well anyways. But what I really love about this is I decided to buy it because when I was at the Wizarding World, um, the guy who's selling the butter beer in the store said, if you get one of these collector mugs, um, there's a couple of benefits that go with it. So one is you go to any other fountain drink dispenser setup or store within the Universal Studios, so not even just within the Wizarding World, you can fill this for I think it was like a dollar or a dollar twenty five instead of paying like four or five bucks for a drink, which I think is awesome. Also could be because it's kind of small, but it's actually pretty decent size. Not it looks super small, but actually fits quite a lot. And another thing is he said it has a lifetime warranty. So if it ever breaks or anything ever goes wrong with it, all I have to do is go to a Universal Studios to a Wizarding World, either the one in Florida or California and I can bring it into them, show them what happened, and they will give me a new one for free. I mean, it'll cost me a bunch to go down, but I don't care because I would go back to Wizarding World any day of the week, so it would be worth it if I needed to exchange this cup. But yeah, really been loving it. The butter beer was a lot better than I actually thought it would be. I don't know why, I just kind of imagined it would be really bitter and really gross, but when I tasted it, it actually was a lot better. Like, really, really good. And there's a couple different ways you can have it. You can have it as liquid. Um, I think one's like a smoothie consistency and one is straight ice cream. And I think the next time I would go, I would just get the straight ice cream because I got the liquid version and they put a little dollop of the ice cream on top and that was the best part. So I would get this entire thing filled with ice cream, like not even exaggerating, it was that good. So if you do go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, be sure to get yourself a butterbeer because it is so freaking good. And get one of these mugs. Continuing on to the Harry Potter theme, my next favorite is a movie. It is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I actually saw it on the day it came out with my friend Jen. Hey Jen. And it was really, really good. I have to say, it's, you know, obviously been a couple of years since there was a Harry Potter-esque movie that came out and I've really been missing going to the theater and watching one. And Fantastic Beasts was really, really good. I actually like a bunch of different characters and the, I mean, the graphics were just insane. I loved all the creatures, particularly the Niffler. I thought he was hilarious. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a really great movie. I would go see it again for sure. I'm definitely going to get it when it comes out on DVD. And any Harry Potter fans, I would go see it because I think you will really enjoy yourself. It's really cool to get to see the US version of the Ministry of Magic and get to see it based in the 1920s and yeah I think it was really awesome so I would definitely and highly recommend to go see that movie. My last favorite for this month is another thing that I can't really physically show you but it's something that I will leave a link for in the description box and it is that Brit & Co which is an online company has a bunch of free classes going on and it's because they're doing a partnership with FedEx and they're offering a whole bunch of free classes. So I decided to grab up my phone so I could read you the list of the free classes that they're offering right now. So it's phone photography basics online class, free for a limited time. How to sell at craft fairs online. So if you ever want to open up an Etsy store, that's probably a really good place to start. Start your first creative business online class. Build your digital brand online class. Design your brand identity online class. Build your brand on social media online class. And HTML and CSS coding online class. So I've pretty much, I think I've ordered all of these to take because honestly, all of this stuff I think would be really handy to learn, especially the HTML and CSS. I'm really interested in getting back into learning how to code because um, I think it would be really handy, especially for my blog, if I know how to code the website myself. But honestly, these classes are great. They're all about, on average, I think it's like between 
an hour, an hour and a half at most. I don't think there are any that are more than an hour and a half, if there are any that are even that long. So I would definitely recommend checking out the free classes while they are free. Again, it's for a limited time. I will leave the link down below so you can go ahead and check them out. Another awesome thing is all these classes, they come with little worksheets. So I just did the one of build your brand using social media. And these are some of the worksheets that I got that I've actually been working on a little bit. Like this one was understand your brand and purpose, um, set 60 to 90 day goals, which is great. So again, that's another added bonus is that these classes are offering you worksheets to help you with whatever topic it is. And it's a really great resource if you want to learn any of these types of things. So that is all for my favorites for the month of November. Welcome again to the month of December and to the last month of 2016. We are almost at the end of 2016, which has been a crazy year. And I'm looking forward to this next month because December is one of my favorite months of the year just because of the holiday and the spirit. And I like seeing all the Christmas decorations around the city. So I'm really looking forward to that. And if you have a favorites video of your own or if there are any November favorites that you want to share, please go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. I look forward to reading them or seeing any videos. I think that would be really awesome to share and to see. And because the month of December is here, I have a bunch of videos I have planned out for the holiday season and some posts for my blog. So I'm really looking forward to sharing those with you guys and I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye!